Hey there, it's Gina Robert with Electronic Musician Magazine and eMusician.com, and I'm here with the Mod Squad. We're looking at Make Noise Rene. Rene is a 16 step nonlinear sequencer in the Eurorack format that's inspired by the Cartesian coordinate system developed by the module's namesake, Rene Descartes. The interface allows you to create complex real time pattern variations using control voltages and gate input to navigate a two dimensional space. The module's microprocessor also provides logic functions, stores sequences, and offers playback modes that make Rene a compelling live performance controller. Each axis, X and Y, has a clock input. Here's the clock inputs. Modulation inputs. Um, there are two CV outputs. We have one that is quantized, one is non-quantized, um, as well as individual uh, gate outputs for the X and Y axes. The functionality of each input and output is based on the operating mode you choose. All this may sound complex, but the module is very easy to use in its basic modes, and the results get more and more interesting as you dig deeper into the feature set. Rene has a 4x4 grid of knobs for setting CV levels and a matching grid of touchpads uh, for programming and performance. You can see that it will follow my finger. Uh, page and latch pads in a row of analog I.O. are at the top here. You can touch the pads to play any of the 16 steps individually or scan through the grid in a variety of ways. Forward, reverse, back and forth, like in pendulum mode, or with one of the eight factory presets in snake mode. And you can momentarily pause a sequence in one spot by touching a pad, and then you lift your finger and the sequence will pick up where it left off. In addition, you've got these logic operations, as well as a seek uh, mode and a sleep mode, which provide uh, behavioral movement in both a fast and a slow way moving through the grid. So you can create uh, variations and all kinds of interesting sequences that, that evolve over time and have a very organic feel, which is perfect for playing uh, sort of West Coast style synthesis patches where uh, the patches slowly evolve over time, as well as you can use it in a sort of East Coast way where you've, you're creating sequences in a standard subtractive synthesis mode, um, but you can add a little bit more life to it with this sequencer than you can with a, your typical linear sequencer. All right, let's patch this sucker up. We've got pulses going into the X and Y clock. You can see that they're jumping around. And now we're going to use a randomized quantized voltage source to move it around the grid a little bit more. And notice that I'm taking the pulses out of the X and the Y and controlling an Optimix, one of the uh, company's Make Noises um, wonderful modules. This is a low pass gate. So I'm driving the low pass gate with the pulses created by the X and Y changes. Every time you see it change between an X and a Y pattern, it sends out a trigger from the appropriate output. And then I'm using the quantized voltage output on my oscillator here, my VCO, and driving the whole thing with an LFO here so we can if I want to stop on a particular note here.
Check in at emusician.com and in Electronic Musician Magazine for more information about the Make Noise Renee and other modular synthesizer parts. This has been the Mod Squad. I'm Gina Robert, and we'll see you next time.